Siplot TV is your number one real estate TV, promoting sustainable accountability, responsibility, and excellence in real estate worldwide. Watch and subscribe to Siplot TV on YouTube channel, powered by Siplot Profile Limited. Siplot TV, your investment house. <laughs> Nothing can replace human connection. Nothing will be able to take you further, more than to be able to connect with people. It's business. So we will say master plan with Dixon and Usubi. We will coach and mature our writers to become professionals in real estate marketing, investment and investment services. That will shape your future in the commercial real estate market. Key financial concept, key commercial real estate market, and how to communicate effectively and authentically with clients. In this season of pandemic, we are making it. Can I tell you the secret? Join us in the We are talking to you. We interest you to know that we have built the network team of over 2,000 truly registered consultants. Our workers are truly well. The good news is this, CIPA has been able to launch our official YouTube channel that will enable us to stream live during our trips in order to reach out to all our workers worldwide. Don't let fear be Where you are from this time, the opportunity you have been waiting for is here. And the secret of getting are here is getting started. Join us live every Friday on YouTube channel at C Plug Media live stream by 10 a.m. Nigerian time. Make sure you click the subscription button to enable you to get notification messages at all our broken speed. Are you in Lagos? Join us at the training room in the company of other companies. If you are in any visit our office to watch live us live in the company of other colleagues, if you are in Asaba, visit our office in Asaba to watch us live in the company of other colleagues. My name is Dixon Manichuri. Welcome to Super Profile Limited. We are investing in house. Our topic today is when clients say, let me think about it, then what you as a director will say, what will you say? All right, we don't have much time and we know much people are still on their way coming and we already have our viewers online waiting for us, people in Nasaba, people in Enugu. I hope you guys are ready. You can just click through our WhatsApp group to go straight to CPLAT TV to join us live. All right, people of God, with um, the joy in our hearts, with Clap Innovation, let's make welcome our Airbnb Managing Director of CPLAT Profile Limited, Mr. Dixon in the house. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. It is good to be in your midst once again after such a long time. And I said today I will have him be back to Lagos briefly, even though I'm going to be brief. Next week I will off again so that as my people can have a full time to you know in my, with my presence. You know we are in the. The agenda we have for this time, this last quarter of the month of the year, is to make sure that all our estates is witnessing very rapid and you know conspicuous development. And that will also help to make your work easier for you. When you send a video, I am not sure that there's anyone you will send a video of Enugu now that will not have any interest. Two of us are good. So and it's gonna start uh, in Asaba this month. So that uh, your work will no longer be difficult for you. This is the amount of bomber harvest of sales in Amen. Jesus' name. And uh, I said, okay, since I'm here, let me be able to impact on my people before I take off again. And then to tell you what you need to do. I know, because uh, I've been, we've been in this business for years now. And we've been, uh, uh, we have a different kind of experiences, you know, with clients, with prospects. And, uh, and uh, I said, I think it's important that we... We we'll give you a clue on how to begin to handle all those objections that has to bother, that bother around. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. After today, there will be no such 
Excuse me, say the morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. And good morning, Enugu. Good morning, Asaba. I believe you are well seated, tight, and then attentive to listen to what the Holy Spirit has to tell you. No, look, listen very well so that you get the voice behind the voice. You get the voice behind this my physical voice. There's a voice behind it because everything I'm going to say to here today will be supernatural. As I release it, you grab it Amen. and then it will work for you. Now, looking at the screen, you have uh, when client says, let me think about it. Before I go on with this topic, I want to admonish our first timers and as well as uh, old timers. We've been with us for some time now. I also want to appreciate you all one, first of all, for being there. Uh, a lot of us have been taking home our incentive package, a bag of rice. Today, someone will take a bag of rice at Asaba office. Yeah. And then, uh, this month will be full of it. Amen. There will be incentive galore. Amen. And then, I know that this other incentives we have quarterly and annually. Some people are closer to it. And on that day, it shall be a glorious day for all of us. Amen. Because those incentives are not mere incentives. They are meant for someone to take it home. And somebody must take it home in Jesus' name. Amen. It will not be one person. Amen. It will not be two persons. Amen. It will not be three persons. Amen. We can take 20 persons in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, as we all grow, we all grow together. If today is your first time in our midst. I want you to sit tight. And then pay full attention to get the information and make sure that you are consistent with us so as to be able to flow with the industry. It's an industry of billionaires. It's an industry that will pick you from the dungeon and put you on top of the mountain top. It's an industry that make you overnight, give you overnight turn around. The overnight, you overnight just like David, uh, uh, what do you call him? Joseph was in the prison in the night and in the morning he was at the palace. He became a prime minister. So that is the kind of experience you'll be having in this industry. Amen. More also for being in this in the midst of the billionaires as C Plat Retos. Because in here we work with grace. We, work, we don't work with what? Effort. Our effort is nothing. God picks our little effort as a stone that David released from his strings and then pierce it to the head of Goliath. That will be your experience in Jesus' name. Amen. So little work, plenty result. Little work, plenty result. Then what are we doing here? We're here to educate you on how to make your steps. Because there is a part we must play in order for God to play his own part. And when our part is not well covered, God becomes helpless. He cannot do anything. How many of us washed our mouth this morning before coming out? Did anybody encourage you to do that? Because you know it is uh, important. There is a part you must play. That is how it is working with God. Do your own part well. In every business you find yourself, you must know the etiquettes. More know the rude demands. Know the do and don't. And it may pick up a particular etiquette as normal but uh, personally we advance on them in order to make it better that is what is called creativity in everything you are doing you must not just pick an idea and then establish it like that you must be able to reform it in another way and then give it a touch but as you are inspired by the holy spirit in order to make it different from the crowd and today that is what we are talking about. This is a very strange topic. Two of us. Very strange topic. Full of suspense. And people will be wondering what is this topic all about? What is this topic all about? This is inspired by the Holy Ghost. And we need to talk about this. Thing. These are simple things experiences we, many of us are having today. Two of us. Is the kind of experience many of us are having today. You talk to a client the next you will hear is I will think about it. And I will call you back. And they never go, get back to you. They never get back to you. So let's move on. Um, how Realtors versus what? Prospects. Realtors versus prospect. 
How many times I want to ask, in your marketing endeavor, when you are on a closing deal, deal call, or in a meeting with your prospect, and your prospect says to you, let me, I want to think about it, or so, send me some more information about the estate. And you keep sending, and you keep sending, and you keep sending, and there is no reply, no response. You know, certain words are inverse, inverse words. There are some words you hear, they don't mean exactly what, they are, what the person is saying. They mean the opposite. We need to be able to, we need to know how to handle such statements. Because the moment you hear we think about it, you think the person is going to think about it. Just like in the Christian world, when your pastor will say, I will pray for you, I'm praying for you. He's not praying for you. <laughs> he, has his own, he has more needs for himself to pray about. And then the, the last thing they will do is to, you know, be praying for you, as they say. It's not possible. So what you do is go on your knees and do what? Pray for yourself. So it's something when you you be making a mistake when you relax with that response, thinking that the client you just go to his bed and then lie down on the bed and begin to think about what you told him. Or as he's walking on the road, you'll be thinking, what you told him? <laughs> Am I really going to invest in this? Day? It is not possible. It's an inverse word. It's an indirect statement. Is an what? Indirect statement. They don't just want to hurt your feelings. I want you to know, when that happens, what will happen? They never, you never hear from them again. And then it is a lie. Prospect lie all the time. You know why I like to put my things down so that if I am done, I can easily send it to you. Then you sit down on your own and begin to study them. That is why I try to put things I will say down. They lie a lot. Prospects lie all the time. Prospects lie all the time. They tell you one thing, they mean another. Now, when you hear, when they say they want to think about it, that is not actually what they are saying. They are saying one thing. They mean three things out of that single statement. One, Right? I will share with you one of it is what? I don't have the money. That is one of the three things that that statement means. I don't have the money. At the tail end of this lecture, we'll be talking about how to handle it. How, what do you do when such statement or answer comes from a prospect? I don't have the money. But they don't want to hurt your feelings by just telling you, I will think about it. Because they believe that if they tell you no, they hurt your feelings. It's not good enough to present it that way. But that no will be the best answer you will at least get. It helps you to know your stand. It helps you to move forward. It helps you to know how to follow him next time. No. It's a very straightforward answer. It will help your activities. But they will not tell you that. You keep hoping. You keep hoping that this person is with you when the person is not with you. So what we are going to do is to empower you to help you handle emotional feelings, help you relate with them, help you coordinate your discussions either on phone or one-on-one -on -one marketing. Then, let me think about it, but they never get back to you. Many of us have had that experience. A lot of time. Then, the next thing happens is that you need to be in charge. When you hear such a thing, then get up. Either on phone or on one-on-one -on -one discussion. Be what? In charge. Be what? In charge. How are you going to be in charge? When you are on the phone with a prospect, one of those thing, two things happen. Then either you are closing the, the, them or, or uh, either you are closing them on why they should buy or they are closing you on why they shouldn't buy right now. These are the two things happening. 
when you are confronted with a client, when you are with a client, either on phone or on one-on-one -on -one discussion, two things what happens. Two things is inevitable. Is either they are closing you on why they shouldn't buy now, or you are closing them on why they should buy. It, without knowing it, these are the two things that must happen. But for you to close them depends on your ability to present your product. It's true, the person may not have the money at that moment. But when you put the zeal, instill the eager into that person, by and by, as you pre pre present to other solutions and other ideas, the person may want to buy into it gradually. In the worst case scenario, if the money is not there at all, once the money comes in, you'll be the first point of call. Right? Now, let's move on. The second thing that they mean when they say, let me think about it. The second thing is what? I don't see the value. I don't see the value. The second thing, that is what they actually mean when they say, tell you that. I don't see the value. Well, I don't see the value. Now, yes, you have presented your offer. That is the offer. I will have our estate, Vatican Garden Estate, Enugu. We have Vatican Garden Estate, Asaba. But you, you have not been able to present the value. Then that is why they delay the sales. And many will ask, what is the value all about? The value we are talking about here is beyond just telling the person that we have estate selling at Enugu at the rate of 5.5 million. Some time ago we did a training that has to do with, uh, we, I talked about how you can bring investment ideas on the table. What other uh, uh, advantage of real estate you can present to your client? Because many of them are of the opinion that the moment you buy land is equal to building a house. And also the other party believe that you build a house and live in it. All right? Yes. And also, some other also believe that even when you want to build a house, it must be, be built for rent. All right? And other ones believe that when you build a house, even if you want to sell, it's for sale, you also have to build it from beginning to furnish it, you, you paint it, and then lock the house and before you sell. There are other opportunities in real estate. Those are the value. Value number one, you buy a land, yes, for use. You want to live in it, good. Two, you have bought to buy land, you can sell it when the price what appreciates. In order to boost your business. It's one of the fastest way of growing financial capital for your business. Because in one year, two years, okay now, with the Ainugu was three million, isn't it? How much is it now? Now before the year runs out, will it be five point five? Now, if the person wants to sell his land in January or December, will he still make it at $3 million? All right? How much will he be making? It may be around $7 million. Naira. Now, if he sells the land and collects the money, then if he takes $5 million out of the $10 million, invests it in his business, is that going to be a change, yes or not? Great improvement will come. If he has not been an importer, of course you know he can start being an importer. Yes. In the space of one, one what? One year. Yes. Not even up to one year because some bought in March, some bought in January, some bought in February. Then you see a little period of time. He has made a lot of money with simple physical investment. That is the value. Two, you can build a house and sell, thereby having another source of income. 
in addition to the one you have right now. So when you buy the land, you start the foundation. Do you know that you can even sell the house before you do the linter? When the company start their own build and sell properties, you key in. Whatever design they have, you key in with your own too. So as they are marketing their own, you are also marketing your own. You can hand over to the company to market for you with an agreed terms on how to share the profit. Now, before you finish your own, it can be sold. Because many of those properties will be sold in view. We have a prototype. We've done the feasibility studies that is a, that is QS, quantity survey. How much this building? Close the door, please. How much this house will be cost to finish? And then we equally have put in our own selling price. So that is a clear blueprint for anybody that wants to venture into it to key in. So you'll be running with the cost the company have made for this same plan. Now, those who want to subscribe into it, we have categories, we have kakas, we have doulas, we have standard. And then that kakas is uh, when you finish building, roof it. You don't have to put a window, you don't have to put the door, you don't have to do any other thing. It is sold that way. Then the one who will buy it will complete the rest of the work. Now, of course, you know, before, if you have this range for sale, before you finish the linter, even the decking, somebody can pay it off, buy it off. And then you use the money to complete it. And you have already made some little profit out of it. And then, if it is set maybe around 25 million, for instance, you are still at the linter level. Somebody has paid you 25 million there. Or probably may have made uh, maybe half of the money. Is the work going to be faster for you or not? And then you make money easily. You may not be there to do it. If you be your business, do your business, the company is handling it for you because you have an agreed terms with them. These are the value that I'm giving to you. Because you present your offer. They have not presented the value. That is why they tell you, let me think about it. And then, yes. Of course, you know what happened. They will never come back. So another one is that you can buy, build a house, then rent it out. It's not, it's not, the block of flat is not allowed in our estate, yes? But they can build a terrace duplex in one plot. There's a house in Enugu they use within the range of 40 by 40 or 50 by 50 to build two terrace duplex. And each of them is one parlor down, kitchen, and even a boys' quarter at the back. And uh, they have uh, another one, two rooms, and a parlor, first floor. And they go another second floor, they put another two rooms. You can imagine about four rooms, two parlors, with kitchen, with boys' quarter, in one side, the other side, the same thing. And uh, how much are they selling? Each 60 million naira. If you stay outside, you will never know that that house is in that size of a plot. You will never know. And the, each of those, the compound can accommodate not less than two, plan, two cars. And that is a, what they have there. So if they choose to rent it out, if you do, this, do such a thing and choose to rent it out, of course you know you can rent it out. The two of them be rented out. If you choose to sell it, of course you know how much you realize from it. So you can do do loss, you can do standard. Standard means you finish, you lock it and hand over key. The person will just pay and uh, pack in. 
Doulos means halfway. You turn the louvers, the doors, maybe the piping or the wiring. Then the person will complete the rest of the work. Then carcass means block work and roofing. And that's all, your hands off. The person will complete the rest of the work. These are the value. What did I say? Build and sell. Sell the plot. Build and rent. And as well as build and leave. Then the living aspect of it is you will present the facilities that will be in the estate. That's how, why we don't like buying a lot of plots, like 200 plots. We go to what we can harmonize in a very short period of time. The maximum we can take is 100 plots. It's easier for you to circle around and then plan the inner rules easily than you have 200, 300 plots. And then for you to do all these things, it becomes an issue. So you find out that many years the land is still lying fallow. And then we also like to go to where we will not have too much time for development to reach there. We may buy expensive and also buy as you sell, you sell as you buy. All right, within one year, two years, maximum of three years, things will be happening. If you go to our phase one or phase two as of right now, a lot of things are happening already. If you go to a new, a lot of things are happening already. So that is what our system in this company. So these are the value I have put in your hands today that you can present to a client in order to motivate him to pick the interest in buying. So and let's move on. The third thing they will tell you indirectly when they tell you, let me think about it, is what? I don't see the urgency. That's, these are inverse statements. Simply because they don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't see the urgency. Now, I like to tell people we are not preaching this unity, but the round writing is on the wall. What is happening in our nation today? If you go to East, you will understand better. People are taking position. People are taking position. That's why the OJC need to let them understand. If you wait until it becomes obvious or the rain falls, you are sure that the clothes you, you left outside will be wet. Before you'll be able to gather them, gather them, you yourself will be drenched under the rain. But it's better that time the rain is giving the signal. You run out to go and pack your, okay. your things. That is exactly the proverb I want to use because we are life. So that is how to present the urgency. A lot of people are taking position. And the future belongs to those who can see opportunity or opportunities before it becomes obvious to everybody. In real estate investment, those who have made money in it before and now has always been those who key into the opportunity when it is ugly. Those who key into the opportunity when it's not, it doesn't look like it. When those who key into the opportunity, when everybody was saying it won't work. Those are the people who are always at the front line, at the long run. I remember when I caught that road here. I wasn't there then, but they, they told me it was a typical bush. Yes, from this area. From Sele here. Forest. Complete. Is this the forest? No. Those that both have these properties here. Go and price one. <laughs> I went out with a friend one time to get check a property there around Okota. The man that took us is into real estate investment. He was showing us some land he bought five thousand. Yeah. Some we bought three thousand. He has sold it all, but he was telling you I have sold this one. I bought this social amount, but look at how much I sold it. 
And when he sells anyone, he takes the money to go and buy another one. He's still in another place. He's still buying no cotton here. The man is in this plaza. This next plaza here. He's still buying now. Even if it's 10 million, he will buy it. Because he knows in the next five years he will no longer be 10 million. That's what he does. He has to, his children abroad schooling. He doesn't do any other thing. That is business. He will tell you this one I bought it 3,000. That one I bought it 5,000. And he still has, at that time, he showed us many of them that were still available for sale. And the, the amount he was calling was already 20 something million. But, but that, and that 3,000 is not easy to come by. Yes, it wasn't easy to come by. It's, not, it's, just, it, like now. it's just like now, it's empty now. Is there anyone that is easy to come now? But many people are getting the money and eating it at the bapal. Yes. Even now. Yes. Even now. Some people, okay, how much is our initial deposit in Asaba? Is it not 650000 But so many people have squandered it within a period of time. And ask them their account to account. They can't tell you what they use the money for. Many. Okay, if I were at the hotel where I stay in Enugu, I see most of a lot of things. You see married men, they come in group. Each one with a girl. How many rooms are men? How many rooms are men? Okay, they have only two. Okay, Tony, you are your own. Stay here. Let's go and check the other one. These are married what? Men. men. And uh, women, no, no, they are not married. They are all those ones are shallow. Some are married. Some are married. Some. So, okay, now tell me what the future those ones have. Okay, the money you are spending on those things, the hotel room alone is 10,000, 8,000, and thereabout. Okay, minus the hotel room, then minus the, you know, they will chop now before they. At the end of the day, one person will be spending not less than 15,000. And uh, you, of course, you know it's a spirit. You cannot earn it one day. Once the spirit is in you, it becomes a regular activity. Okay, project it out of the 31 days in a month. At least they do it 15 days. How much? A lot of what? Now, multiply that money for six months. Multiply it for one year. Is it not enough? You see, then they will tell you the money is not it wasn't easy to come by. Many were getting it the way they are getting it now and wasting it. Many wasted it from the back pocket in the company of wrong uh, people. Anyone who is not willing to pay a price has no share in the future. The children will ask you then, what, have you, what were you doing? You say, I was hustling. Hustling is not a part of success game. Hustling is working without vision. That is what, it mean, what hustling means. When you are saying I'm hustling, that means you're hustling without plan. Working without plan. Working without idea. Working without vision. That is the language, the meaning of hustling. There is no hustler that has a future. No hustler has a record in the billionaire class. Because uh, for you to be on top, life cannot give to you much as much as you have not put in, into it. You must learn to pay a price. When others are having fun, you put yourself together. When others are buying the clothes that are trending, then you settle in one. At the end of the day, he that laughs last, laughs the best. So that is the value, the urgency you need to present to the client. Okay? People are taking position. Look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. 
if you wait until that time, you may not be able to meet up. Because those who are buying the land now will tell you how much it is. It will be by that time. When it becomes so obvious that everybody needs to go, you carry a little capital that you go and buy land that time. Even in your village, you will not be able to buy it. Because eyes will what? Open. That is the need. That is the urgency. You need to make them to see. I want to think about it. They mean I don't see the urgency. Why I should buy right now? Show them. Present the value. As a consultant, you have not, you have not shown them or presented the value to them. That is why. Then you have not articulated the value the way I did now. Right? Then you have not instilled the urgency why they need to buy right now the way I have done that now. Now, that is why they don't buy and you let them go away with that excuses. Let me think about it. You see, when you are talking with a client, you don't need to present it as if I really want you to buy this land so I can get commission. I, don't, I want you to come and buy from us. We have a product we are selling. I want you to buy. That is why you are called who? We are called who? A consultant. A consultant presents a matter eh, as a solution, as an advice. You present your offer as an advice. He sees you. The first time I made sales in real estate, that was 2017, under Sarori Properties. I entered Lagos Island as director. People said, just enter there. I went and entered the guy's office and I sat down, greeted him on my suit, and he welcomed me. He said, Sir, can I sit down? I said, Yes. I sat down and said, I only want five minutes of your time. And if I do not, you don't like what I have to offer you, I'll go. The guy looked at me and he said, Yes. It's okay, sit down. I sat down. And I began to tell him, things about his business. I didn't go straight to the real estate. He said, sir, do you know you can change this, your business? With this, I get one, two, three ideas. The way I presented it, that is why we are still friends till tomorrow. Beyond real estate investment, we are still best of friends. We spoke yesterday. He bought, oh, right there he filled form for six plot, right there. And he paid for three plot. Immediately, he said, is there any form I can fill? I said, I gave him. He filled it there. He gave me a check of 1.5 million, same time. We've not met anywhere. That was the first time. I gave him an idea and I told him, oh guy, you don't need to build a house there. You can be doing this business and you have another source of income, which is real estate investment. Over a little period of time, hand this over to me, I will manage it. I will sell it for you. I will tell you when the land has changed prices. And I also let you know when you will, it's right to sell. And that is how this young man pay, bought. And today we are still best of friends. So, how to handle, you present the value. Now, the next thing is how to handle these objections. We're going into it, what to do. How you present or you start your discussion with a client is very important. This might sound strange to some of us, but you don't need to, sorry? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's supposed to be S. So, I mean, of, many of us think uh, it may not work out that way. You know, when I use my own terms, you know, as a case may be, that's why you need to be smart. You also can use your language. You don't need to speak the language exactly the same way you be, I was speaking. Where I put a particular word, you can use another word in that place. 
that the bottom line is that you are getting to the same result. Anytime you are talking with a client on phone, learn to be professional. Don't be too fast. Listen. And as well as present yourself well. Either in Igbo language or in English language. Or in a pidgin language. The most important thing is that you are communicating the message. If it's an Igbo person, don't bother speaking English. That's what I do. I say, oh God, are you an Igbo person? He say, yes. I say, I beg, let's come back. <laughs> there is a bond that comes up when the moment you start speaking with Igbo, your, your brother in Igbo language. The moment you are speaking to an Igbo person in an English language, you create a gap. You have created a gap. He's not seeing you as one of his brothers. But the moment you come down to evil language, you are seeing a brother to relate with. He will begin to tell you things ordinarily he will not tell you. He will flow. He will open up. So, now, when clients say, well, let me think about it, what would you reply? How do you handle that objection? One, to what? Let me see. What I call preframing. My name is Dixon Onochuko. By the grace of God, I am the managing director of Sigma Profile Limited, which is otherwise known as your investment house. It's a real estate company with development project across the real estate spectrum. Our current estates on sale are Vatican Garden Estate Fish 2 as a Delta. The estate in Asaba is located behind Asaba Airport and beside the immigration office at uh, Ibozo, Stoke Asaba. It is selling at a promo price of 1.5 million naira per plot. And the promo will end on the 31st of July 2020. Vatican Garden Estate, Enugu, is located at Obago, Okinawa, beside Centenary City. And is selling its neighborhood in other estates like Jedidaya. Diaspora estate and many other upcoming estates, and it is selling at a price of 5.5 million naira. All our estate will feature solid parameter fencing, road network, underground cable, drainage system, security network, street light, and the recreational center. Why should you invest into this our estate? Because they have a fantastic return on investment. Excellent location it has, excellent facilities that we have. It has a good title. It is also free from government acquisition. And you have freedom of choice on building design you can put up. We don't have to dictate for you. The secret is that you need to find out where the people are going. And you go there and buy the land and wait before they get there. That is how many that have become very rich in real estate today were able to get there. Now you don't need to wait to buy land. You buy real estate land and wait. Preframing. Before you get into the sales meeting or call, you can say something like this. Hello, Mr. Prospect. You know where I put Mr. Prospect? You know the name of the person? Yeah. Hello, sir. The purpose of this meeting today, or the purpose of this phone call today, is to communicate to you the value of the investment and to determine a good faith you are to in good faith you are interest by the end of our conversation there are three things that i would want you to say to me you can say it gently as you are speaking you will be listening you take the stage at the first time the moment you take the stage Saying it this way, the person will take you serious. Okay. First thing you can say to me is what? Yes. What? Yes. Let's echo it. First thing you can say to me is what? Yes. yes. And you, 
and I can move on, on to plan together in order to make the decision. Then, second thing. The second thing you can say to me is what? No. no. I want you to know, I want you to know it's perfect to oh, and okay to say what? No. no. Then the next thing you say, do not say to me. So the third thing you can say to me that I don't want you to say to me is that who oh, is what? I want to teach about it. These are the three things you can say to me. But this last one, I don't want you to say it to me. Because I know usually when people say they want to think about it, they really mean no. So when you present your matter like this, you have what? I have, you have, I prefer it, you just tell me no. No hot feelings or whatsoever. So the moment you present you like this, so before we get started, I want you to make this promise that you are either going to tell me one out of these two things, either yes or no. no. You have already, with joy, with joy, cheerfulness, with cool mind, with low voice, you have set the stage for the discussion. If you go to his office, you are sitting with him, you present this matter. Now, on your own, you, you go and change this English language the way you, you can. Okay, in Igbo language, you turn it the way you can. In the Pigeon language, you turn it the way you can. And on this note now, when you do this, you just preframe the entire conversation. And now, at the end, it is going to be very difficult for them to say what? No. no. So, then you have taken the pressure away and given him permission to say no to you if he is not going to buy from you. Perfectly fine. And that is what is called preframing. With this little training today, it looks very simple. Yes, sir. It looks very simple, that, but it's a major challenge many of us have been having in the, on the, in the field. Ability to take the stage, ability to be in charge, is what many of us have been facing. And uh, when you look, let me tell you from me, my own kind of person, my perspective, I study, when I want to do something with you, I study your gesticulation. What do, you, do you understand what I mean by gesticulation? It means body language, facial expression, boldness, and confidence in you. Before we know whether we can do something. We'll be talking, but I'm looking at distance, and it goes a long way, 80%, 90% of judging what the person can do tomorrow. Giving you a picture of what you expect. The person may be good in handling that thing, but the way a man or the person has presented himself without knowing will put you off. It's a very simple uh, topic, but it's a challenge that many of us have. And if we can learn it this way, is what I have tested, is what I have proven. It works a lot. You take charge when you are discussing with a client. By simple by simply presenting the matter this way. Now, the second point is that you get direct. Because when you have set, set this stage and the person at the end of the day tells you no. Now that no also means another thing. Alright? You now get back to recycle, recycle, recycle back to find out the solution, the problem, what the problem is all about. Now, you say to him, sir, when people say to me, they want to think about it, what they actually mean is what? No. Yeah. Now, I know you don't just want to hurt my feelings. Indirectly, you have told him you don't want to take that for an answer. Therefore, let us go to the bottom line. You ask him another question. Sir, what do you actually want? If you say, I want to think about it, you, can, you find out, you need to learn to find out what the client wants. It might be that he doesn't have the money to pay at once. You know, it's not always good, many of us already learned that, to present this instrumental payment plan. 
it's not always good to present it at first. Yeah. It becomes your, your instrument of winning the person when you discover that the person is having some safety cool uh, on the side about the finance, about the amount. When you bring it at last, it becomes a solution. It becomes a solution. And the person may buy into it. So what next thing you do is you ask him another question. Is that about the money, isn't it? Then you prefer a solution. Then the solution you prefer is instrumental payment, discount third purchase, which you easily work out from your fifteen percent without consulting the company. A lady did it yesterday. Someone wants to buy a nugu. Having taught her one of these two things, she has taken it up on herself. You know how much she discount she gave? Five hundred thousand. She gave the client discount of five hundred thousand. Sorry, he, he touched it. Yes, he gave the client. You know, it's from her fifteen percent. Yes, from her fifteen percent. Of course, she did all that. You was telling me much, much later. I said that is a good step. We don't need to get involved. You, have, you know your calculation. You have done your calculation. You know your, how much you are coming out from you. So, you do all those things. And then when you profile all these solutions, you are sure to win the person back. And when, even if the person does not have the money at that time, subsequently, when you bring another opportunity, or if the money comes much later, who will be the first point of call? You. And any time he or she requires a guide or a, an information on real estate investment, you will be the person you call. You maintain that relationship, you maintain that client. Of course, you know, it's not every client that has the money to pay immediately, even the installment payment plan, but the interest is there. But you can never tell the opportunity the person will hit tomorrow. So there is no opportunity that is lost, no client that is the worst. That is why you must take record of those ones that show seriousness. There are people you don't need to waste your time with. You don't, there are people you don't need to waste your time with. For instance, now you go out on evangelism, and you meet someone you want to talk to the person, the person that the person begins to do is to argue with you about Christ. <laughs> huh? Who is this Christ? What has he? What are you going to do? Sit down there and begin to argue? Or <laughs> uh, the next thing you begin to argue about your pastor. You know that your church self. What are you going to do? Sit down and begin to uh, clarify? You do what? It's not every client you spend your time and energy. You have to sieve them to know those who are chaff and those who are and those seats you stay. You can work on them for many for a long time. Example, this is our sister Chibuzo. That this is our client. This one as will abuse her. We call her also some them, you are a criminal. <laughs> And that's the best it ended up by you know. Mm -hmm. huh? He will call me, he will tell me another thing. You call her, she will, he will tell her another thing. It's a difficult place. Difficult place. Difficult. But her patience helps the matter. Her patience helps the matter. Yes. You will meet a lot of them like that. But it's important that you know who you are, know where you're going, and know what you're doing. So when they come, God will give you the enablement and your consistency. We also, another person also from Israel communicated with this, our rector in the Potakot. The guy gave a, if, it's a, if, you're, if that was to be a, a, a panel at the House of Rep to decide the credibility of the person to give the person a ministerial position. The person has just given a fast mark for that guy. There's nothing good he didn't talk about that realtor. 
He has a very cool. In fact, if you have this kind of person, five or ten in your company, your company will go far. There's no kind of question I will ask this guy that he cannot answer me. I will come back and ask the same question again. Even 20 times, he will answer the question with cool mind. The man was talking for almost 10 minutes, just elogizing this young man. And that is the attitude we all should what? imbibe. There are many of them that are difficult out there. Many of them are difficult out there. Lastly, the book of Isaiah chapter 8, 18, it says it's God that gives us power to make what? Well. Yes. 818. 818. I always don't fail to mention God's part whenever I'm teaching. Because I have proven record of working with Him. It doesn't fail anyone that works with Him. It is not by might, my power, smartness, nothing. No, no, no. If it were to be that, uh, I don't think we'll be here. I, if I don't worry, one day we are going to do a documentary where we'll be doing our annual program. We'll do a documentary. So you can see my picture when we started. You can see things where we started. It's only God in you, the person we see, not you. I will make him believe in you. Many of us have devil pursuing us so that we will not be reasonable in life. Two of us. The way God sends his angel after each one of us. The same way devil sends his angels after us. But you escape the moment you accept Christ. That is salvation. That's why the Bible says, Whosoever the Son of God sets free is free indeed. So, the moment you walk with God, you become a blessed. Then it's automatic change from cause to blessing. The cure of every cause, generational cause, is blessing. blessing. Exodus 23, verse 25. You will serve the Lord your God. I will bless your water and your bread. And then take all the nonsense away from your midst. So, blessing is automatic cure for every cause. And automatically, the Bible says the riches will be in the house of the righteous. So whatsoever you are doing in this endeavor, to break through, you must align yourself with the God and reflect the light. Reflect the light. He will give you power. He will call men from far country. People you least expected. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> To answer you. She was like, do you know Solo Jova? No. From anywhere? I've not even seen his face. I was the one that showed you the face before, the first time on my phone. She's doesn't she doesn't know the physical face, even on picture. Because the guy was up, he doesn't have his picture on the profile. And I believe many of us like that. We have so many clients we don't even know. The first person that bought land, the first one plot in our this company. I don't know his face till now. If you say, show me the picture, I will not know, recognize it. I don't know him. I don't think we have spoken only once, once to date. But uh, all the way from Pakistan, God brought him to fulfill his what? Cancer. He said, my cancer shall stand. Yes. The book of Isaiah 40, 46 you should read it from 10. He said, I'm God, declaring things that are not yet happening. The ancient things. He said, my counsel shall stand. Calling the bed of prayer. And the man that will feel my counsel from a far country. So you see how God said client. It's not the person you listen, you expected that God will send. Somebody bought last week a new room from one of our relatives like this. He doesn't know the woman, just online. 
The woman is a UK. Sent his brother to go and invest a check, and then came out, finished, settled. And this is someone that had been with us for since inception. And uh, there was a time he was having, he himself he called it spiritual problem. Was having this problem of let me think about it. He will not see anyone. Almost at the verge of closing the deal, something else will happen. He himself he was calling it a cause. He saw it as a spiritual problem. He came to the office one day. I said, "Look, you have come to share with me. I am not. It's not in me, but it's you are sharing to God. We are going to pray here together. We held hands. We prayed. I said, today, I break every barrier standing in your way. In Jesus' name, Amen." Before you know it, he hit the first one there in a, a new Asaba. One. Today, now, this one, yes, last week, is this uh, current one, Enugu. Since 2017, I always encourage him remain focused. Remain focused. So, it is not in us is God working through us. So if you are working as a person, an individual, you'll be struggling. Try to add God first in whatever you are doing. In your different churches, be committed. Be a servant, not a church goer. So that whatever you are doing, he said, I will bless your bread and your water. This you are our industry, this your real estate marketing is your bread. Because that is the source of your what? Bread. Your water. Your life. Life is your water. You will bless your bread and your water. So when the bless of God, of God comes upon it, you'll be walking at ease. Just like the way we are, what we're experiencing in this company. No stress. Anywhere we go, God will use even those who are supposed to be oppo opposing us to walk, be walking for us. You know, what we are doing there at Enugu is the chairman of the youth of the community that is the one in charge of the block. He's the one molding the block. <laughs> He's the one in charge of the cement. If I say, oh, I want 15 bags before 30 minutes he lands. I don't know where they said the cement till now. I don't know. None of us, none of the staff, none of us know where they said cement. We don't bother going. Just oh, we need 20 bags now. He will get the vehicle. <laughs> he, will get it. he will bring it down to the side. We need social trip. He will call the. the he makes sure it's available at the site. Those are the people. Normally, they will be coming to a store to you, Abi. All of them, every one of them, on tours. We settle them. We pay them. Actually, but that is not e the elastic. Everybody, two for seven. That's the same grace that we follow in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I decree every barrier standing in your way of sales breakthrough this month be brought down now in Jesus' name. Amen. So, as you go out there, we are not spending much time because we have done with our topic. No, but hold on, when we get to that. Today, you are here to receive the word that will propel you out there to do exploit. Amen. This month of September will not pass you in Jesus' name. Amen. If nothing has been working, nothing has not been, have been working in your life, be to begin to work now. Amen. Amen. You are there internationally or locally as Abenugu. I said, if nothing has been working in your life, it will begin to work now in Jesus' name. Amen. This company is a company of grace. And who the company you keep determines what accompanies you. The grace of God will follow you today in Jesus' name. Amen. All 
the clients they have prospected a long time have not gotten back to you because of this topic they will get back to you in Jesus name Amen. any generational causes that have been following you <laughs> your case is different now in Jesus name Amen. you have some challenges house rent children not feeling fine you have joined this group of billionaires. Your story will change from now in Jesus' name. Amen. Because I was once there. And the grace that lifted this company, lifted myself, will lift you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You've been a long time with us, we've not been able to make sales. This month is the month. Amen. You will start from this month. Amen. Experts will be your name. Amen. Your new name will be congratulations. Amen. We have incentive of rice in the house. Sell one plot, carry one block of rice. Mm, By next Friday, we have more than 10 here to give out. Amen. Remember, we have incentive of ambassadorial position mm. with a car. It's not for free. It's not for, for, for display. It's for real. Somebody must carry it in Jesus' name. Amen. If we have 10 people to carry it, are we not going to be happy? We have 20 people. Who come. So it's not meant for one person. No. As many that meet the target, we what? We will carry it. You will be among them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you know, don't be surprised that we don't have a very full house as we used to. When things like this is coming, it's for selected people. I know many of us are online as well. It will also impact on them. Because distance is not a barrier. I've not said a word that God did not honor. I know why. I know I've seen it. I know many of us have some expectations to meet up with. God has settled many in this manner. One of us some time ago was almost uh, at the verge of losing her house because of house rent. And then come that day, we did our prayer prayer summit. I think that was the first time. We prayed and made a lot of declarations. Before you know it, one of our downline made sales that put 400 and something thousand naira in her pockets. It wasn't direct sales, it was just a downline sales. And then the issue of house went sorted out. We had another one, school fees was a problem. Before you know it, the downline made sales. I put over 150,000 in his pocket. And school fees settled. So, being among us here, before any need will arise, God will make a way for you in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank you all. For being part of this company, for being part of the success story, and all of us will be ashamed in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are working with us, God will keep sending the right people your way. Amen. People that will buy from Amen. you. And the, by the special grace of God, you will never be ashamed Amen. for selling our product in Jesus' name. Amen. That is because there will never be any one crisis to manage in this company. We are facing the next levels. I hope we are all ready to face the next level. Yes. This is the time of next level. The next level we are going now will be, you know some other companies have started selling buildings, isn't it? Yes. So we are going to go to the next level very soon. Yeah. It's good to work with God. Don't rush. 
Be comfortable where he puts you at part time. I always say, anywhere God cannot take me to, may I not get there. So, at his pace, we are walking. Gradually, gradually, gradually. Very soon, we start selling houses. I also want to see the consultants are having properties in our estates. When you make this money, don't eat all of them. When you make one sale or one plot in any group, at least that money can go a long way to make a deposit yes. in Asaba. Collect from any group, at least Asaba, you can make a deposit there. Yes. Where the price is a little bit cheaper. And the arrangement is that that your supposed commission will be what? Off for you. Yes. That your supposed commission will be discounted for you. And we are getting there in Jesus' name. Amen. So says. What does they want to say? I don't know. Okay, ask, ask him. him. Ask him first. The, now, let's ask a question. Any question? From from Asaba, he said you should please recap on value. On value. Network challenge. Okay, sorry. Um, from Asaba, they asked us to recap on value. From, from value. Okay, this is it. To carry them along, as a consultant, we talked about why a client will tell you, and let me think about it. When he says so, there are three things he means. He said that he doesn't have the money, or he have, he have not presented, he doesn't see any value in what you are saying, or the the, he, he have not been able to see in him the urgency, the need for him to buy right now. These are two different meanings he has inside that one sentence. Let me think about it. And we now said, for you to instill the urgency for him to know by. Of course, we are talking about our eastern property. That's where we base. Okay? Now, I said, looking at the situation of the country now, I want to use that one as an example. Because I have used it, I have seen people that also believe in it. You, don't, you let your client know Sir, it is now. There is a rain. The cloud is very heavy. You don't wait for the rain to drop before you start packing your clothes outside. Both of you, you and the clothes will be drenched. It is better you start packing them now before the rain comes down. I've been in the East for the past one month and now. I know what is happening. People are taking position in the East. People are really taking position. Some group of clients came to the office. They say they just relocated from Lagos. They just relocated. They want to buy land now. So that they start working on it small, small. That is the, one of the urgency factor you can present to a client to make him or her pick the interest now. Because the time will come when everybody will start running helter, skelter. Even in your own village, you will not be able to buy land. Because it becomes real business for even your grandmother. <laughs> your grandmother will now become a realtor. Immediately. People are opening eyes every day, coming in. Some will tell you, oh, we need three, we need three. We need four. Can we get? It's a demand daily. And these people are not 
people living in Enugu. These are people from Lagos, people from abroad. That is what I mean by instilling the need for the urgency into your client. You know, we are alive, so we don't need to say everything. Nobody will say he doesn't know what is happening in the country. I will, I'll, we keep praying to God that it will never end in any crisis. Amen. Everything will be peaceful. peaceful yes. Everything will be normal. Yes. Because when it was like this in the time of the Israelites, in the land of Egypt, this great torment. But when we were going to go, was it peaceful or not? Peaceful. Even everything they asked from the owners of the land, they gave it to them. Everything they asked from the owners of the land, they got it. And they told them, do what? Go. And you think it's not going to happen in our time? Uh, right now, we are in Igbo land, we have one number, two of us. True. But in Yoruba land, we have more than four. Namdeka. Have you not been seeing it on social media? You have not been seeing Yoruba Namdeka before in the social media. How many of us have seen it? What I mean by people doing what he's doing for Duduwa Republic. <laughs> How many of us have seen it? First of October, there will be rally in UK by Oduduwa Nation. They protested they they for this they are the battle. But they, they want to exit from Nigeria. They did it even last month in the UK too. There is one for 1st of October coming. It's for... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like. I don't like. So, so can you? Do you understand the language now? So the person that asks the question, that is the need. That is the factor you use to instill the urgency into your client. That is what we mean by presenting the urgency. Then this one is value. Value we talked about is uh, is urgency. They talked about of value. 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 We I talked about is. You have offered your client the Vatican Garden Estate, Asaba, Vatican Garden Estate, Enugu, but they have not given him the value of what he stands to benefit. Because many believe that when you buy land, you need to go and build and live there. You buy another one in Enugu, you also build it and go and live there. <laughs> so he let them know the value beyond living. That you can. Build this, this real estate is the fastest way of building financial capital for your business. You don't need to go to the bank to borrow money. That you bank. land bank is that you can if, if you borrow money from the bank, you will not even be able to pay it in one year. You know, people think that borrow money from the bank is very easy. See, just like when your wife wants to put to bed, you have some other things and you want you start borrowing money to Take your feet. You say you, I will pay back in one more time. The truth is that the money you have borrowed to settle you, the wife uh, delivery and so many other things will not be easily paid back in one more time. Because the baby will eat. Pampas will be there. All right? And your mother-in-law will what? Will come. And your mother-in-law will eat. And your mother-in-law will go. You are getting the money to pay back. But there are urgent needs carrying it. And at that time, you, you are in so many things. So you better you cut your coat according to your size, your clothes. So when you go to the, tell you when you go to the bank to borrow, to your, you are endangering your business. But when you use some little capital out of your your, 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 your business, you buy a property. One year time, it will appreciate. I now use an example. I said, as an Enugu, we started with three million dollars, two of us. That was a. He ended in March. Oh, is it? Yes. The promo ended in March. March. Now, how much is it now? 5.5. Now, the people that bought 3 million, 
I made 2.5 million dollar profit immediately. If he wants to sell now, this is how much he will get. Now, by December now, it is already going to be 10 million and above. Now, of course. So by that time, if he, if he, if he, if he, by the time we finish what we are doing there now, is it going to be the same price? <laughs> so when we start building, when you start seeing building rising there, I may start the building. Now. Our neighbors are selling twenty-five million, sure. not up to four sixty. Centenary City. Yes. The client that bought two plot, American, and sent a lawyer from Abuja to come and buy. I was there. I took her around. That was before we started the work, the fencing work. And then, the moment we got inside, I saw this woman standing, the lawyer, she was standing disappointed. Because she, what she saw at that moment was not what she expected. You know, during the lockdown, the grass grew and so many other things. I said, say, My ah, client is like Ada. Uh, Ada? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I said, look at it now. She said, uh, what this client really wants is where he can start building now. I said, is she going to bid before December? He said, no, but I said, madam, I'm, I don't say what I don't do, I won't do. In the, before you come here next month, you will surprise. Don't take that money to another place. So our, that is our, I said, okay, no problem. If you are not okay, I don't have any problem. Let, let me take you around. Let's see. We'll work together. Let's see whether, where we can get something for you. I drove her out. I took her to the next estate that's around the Centenary, Amon Estate, in the Centenary I'm office. Not Amon Garden. I took her to Centenary office. Called the surveyor. He came. I said, Musa, we need a land. Can we get in your Amon Garden? Amon Garden, Amon Garden, Amon Garden. Yes, that's Amon Garden there. So he said, yes, let's go. So we went there. He was carried their price list. 300 square meter, 10 million. 400 square meter, 17.5. So before we get to 400 square meter, it was 28 million. Yes. So all around us, we went to the one that is, uh, they have cleared the way we cleared. Fencing the way we are fencing, there's no building yet. Okay, All right, that is not that's why it's city view before you get to diaspora. So, how much? 24 million for 400 square meter. There's another one before the centenary gate, they call Spotter, Spotter and Life uh, Garden. We went there. Thank God, uh, the managing director was there. We, we, and said, I said, Where is the guy? I said, I said, Okay. We went there, I shook the man, greeted him. I said, We won't. So he now showed us. 400 square meter, 28 million. The woman looked at me, I looked at her. <laughs> so, so as we went to our same station, are you telling me that you give me, I want you to give me your word that you, you things are going to be as you said. I said, I can't say beyond that. I don't talk too much. Whatever your heart tells you, follow it. It's okay. Let's go to Lance to check. So we drove to Lance. So we gave her the service, she entered there, and she entered, so they brought the file. The file was still on their table, sir, because that was the week the, the survey was lodged. So they brought out the file and I gave her. She said, okay, there's no problem. So we went, she said, okay, let's go to the bank. From lunch to the bank, she made the payment. And then when I sent, started sending the video to her, she was shouting. So as a matter of fact, by the time things improve more, as we want to do it, because by next week, by God's grace, once they finish roofing the gate house, we start plastering, putting the other things, and then the road, we start working on it. And then, are you saying we should maintain 5.5? Okay, you want to start working on the access? Oh, no, not the access. Access work cannot be now because the rain. We have done the survey. But they drained the road. We have done the road where we used to because enter. No, the other place was so The main, main access road will be done by the dry season. If we start it now, it will cost us more money. Yes. We, what we did now is Centenary City Surveyor that did the survey for the road, topography survey. So it's working on the cost now. So that by the time the rain goes, you know, this September we enter and you don't know what the rain will be, we do. We enjoy the August break. 
So you don't know what September will bring. So if you start working when the rain starts, it will stop. So we, what we agree is that we are using their road. We have access road from their estate. Now, so that particular permanent one, once dry season comes, we begin. That one very simple. Once Caterpillar puts it, it, the next thing, all the necessary government will be done. And that will be over. We cannot maintain the same price. So as I was saying, if it goes to that price at that time, in one year, someone has made a huge profit, which you can share and return some capital back to your business. And your business will boom very well. If you want to become an importer, of course, by that time, you can easily start importation. With just $3 million that they started at that time, or $5 million that they use now. Can you hear me? That is the value. Two, they make a hold that in place. Two, number two value is that you can as well key into the company build and sell pl plan. We have designed our build and sell house, working on the facility that is QS now. When it comes out, we know how much it will cost us to build this three bedroom duple terrace. Then a client who bought can as well key into it. We have um, where, sorry? Yes, we have carcass. We have we have dulos and standard. So a client can key into building a carcass. That means he will work with our cost of building and also with our selling price. So he can start his own and can sell it even at the foundation. Because most of those houses will be sold at the foundation level. Having seen the prototype, the plants and everything, okay, this is how much it will cost, and this is how much they are selling it. Now, we start marketing it, even in view. Even as the work is going, the marketing is ongoing. Then somebody can buy it before you finish it, using the plan. Then, when, as an individual, you are building and your own is bought or sold, the money, the capital to complete it will become faster. Then you complete the house. What you are doing is carcass. You roof. The person takes care of the rest. So you present these values to a client. My name is Dixon Onochu. By the grace of God, I am the managing director of Simpla Profile Limited, which is otherwise known as your investment house. It's a real estate company with development project across the real estate spectrum. Our current estates on sale our Vatican Garden Estate Fish 2 has a Delta. The Estate in Asaba is located behind Asaba Airport and beside the immigration office at uh, Ibozo, Stoke Asaba. It is selling at a promo price of 1.5 million naira per plot, and the promo will end on the 31st of July 2020. Vatican Garden Estate Enugu is located at Obago, Okinawa, beside Centenary City, and is sharing its neighborhood with other estates like Jedidaya, Diaspora Estate, and many other upcoming estates. And it is selling at a price of 5.5 million naira. All our estates will feature solid parameter phase, road network. Underground cable, drainage system, security network, street light, and the recreational center. Why should you invest into this our estate? Because they have a fantastic return investment. The excellent location they have, the excellent facilities that we have, it has a good title. It is also free from government acquisition, and you have freedom of choice on building design you can put up. You don't have to dictate for you. The secret is that you need to find out where the people are going and you go there and buy the land and wait before they get there. That is how many have become very rich in real estate today were able to get there. Now you don't need to wait to buy land. You buy real estate land and wait. Uh, so what, what of you have a client, it sounds interesting to the property. Always form busy and busy. Pick my notebook. The notebook. This is what you do when you have a client that is interested and form busy. 
you try to get because he can never be busy all through the whole month. He can never be all busy, busy all through the year. All right? What he's telling, when he's telling he's busy, it means no. Right? I hope you know. It's another way of telling you no. So, because, yeah. If he is busy, if he is rest, really interested, he will make time to come. So, if he is too busy, and he can also not give you time on phone, you know he's not really interested. Do you understand? He can't give you time to meet him in his office. He can't give you time to talk on phone. And he can't even make out time to come to the site. Automatically, he's not a, a client. So you move on. So those are the people we said. When, yeah, you sieve between the chaff and the seed. Between the chaff and the seed. He can't come to the office. He can't even invite you to his office. He can't even give you time on phone. Eh? He's not a client. You move on. I hope the question is answered. Any other question? Okay, what of a client that seen the man and uh, he, 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 he asked him how to say it's okay, he like it. Like, okay, you, after, uh, you now tell him that, ah, this coronavirus is an error. Um, he doesn't have money. It's the same way. It's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Is it that he said he has no money? Mm. Or he's not interested? Or he has not seen the value? Now, that is where you bring solution of other means of payment. Mm. All right? Other means of payment. You present instrumental payment plan for him. And also, they can give a discount to support it, to make it easier for him. That is it. Then if all that is done, and he's still not interested, of course you have done your part. Yes, you do it with your commission. Then leave the rest in the hands of the Holy Spirit yes. to perfect. Thank you. Any other question? So, um, this, uh, this, um, the study of study of Nassau, please, I'm pleading, can you send it to the WhatsApp group? Yes, it will. It will be there. Five, so that it will be there. Mm. It will be there. Mm. Any other question? Is there? It will be there. Any other question? Our refreshment is ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is there one? The phone said instead of this, uh, mm -hmm. this thing, not send us to him. To him. I was the last person. Okay, are you the one? So, uh -huh. since the conversation and everything, they kind of telling me, okay, I will get back to you. And you have another round. And those people are selling three from five million. Mm -hmm. So, you will be able to contact him whether he will buy from you. That one? Yes. Yes. The next thing you will do is, did you, you have sent my number to him. Okay. Have you asked him to call me? He told him to call me. Okay. Then what we do after the, the evening, remind me, send his number, I will call him. To know who sent that information to him and also find out his interest. You can also ask him, what do you really want? What do you really want? Is it the 1.5 million asaba or the 5.5 million enugu? Or what is your cha the challenge? Is it the money? So these are questions you need to come out to ask him. These are things we have already talked about. When he's telling you, I will get back to you like that, automatically is no. There are three things. Is it that he is not interested, or he has not seen the value, or he doesn't have the money? So you come out to ask him, what is the situation is it the finance can we go on instrumental payment plan you have given a discount already isn't it then these are things and as well let me know i will call him as well to find out what the problem is and where he got the information you sent him the information i sent to you have you sent has he proven that he's got it has he gone through it and it's confirmed that it's the same thing you told him about the new 
then these are other things we do. But let me know. I will talk to him. If he remind me. Any other question? No question for now. Thank you. God bless you all. Amen. You are welcome. I think is this where we draw our curtain. Um, I bless you all there, Yenugu Asaba. Thank you for listening. And um, next Friday is going to be awesome. I may not be around, but it's going to be awesome. We are running another series now. We know we've been doing digital, digital, digital marketing. We have so many new people among us. Yeah. It's important that we carry them along. That's why we change our series. In between these series we are doing now, we are going to be doing our product knowledge as well in the near future. The series is about uh, the etiquettes in selling and marketing, which we bother around so many different types of topics. And make sure you avail yourself, make yourself available to capture all these things. In as much as you are learning how to advertise on social media, you should also be very good at physical communication because you don't know who you will meet tomorrow. You can meet somebody in the bus, you can meet somebody at the bus, st uh, bus stop, in the church, and as well as in the market. So anywhere, anyhow, any day you meet someone, you'll be able to communicate well. And as well, you also learn how to package proposals, how to make your marketing official, how to make your marketing organized. You don't just, this is not buying and selling of, of uh, any product. It is investment. That anyone that wants to do it, usually do it in an organized or careful manner. So you must present yourself approved for someone to choose you as a channel to invest 5 million naira, to invest 1.5, to invest 2 million. You must show that you are capable to handle his investment. Therefore, the way and manner you present things, even yourself, is very important. So that is why we've gone back to our normal uh, empowerment and the motivational series uh, time, so that we have different topics that will teach you around these things, on how to do it. We are also going to do um, how to pro prepare a proposal. It's not every client you carry phone, fly, and give. Mm -hmm. Right? There are some pro clients you meet. It will require that you package everything you want to say in writing. It's important. So we're going to be doing those things within in this, this series we have entered now. We may do it in two months. We may do it within one year, month or two months or thereabout before we go back again to our social media marketing. And this we will continue to do until all of us become billionaires in Jesus' name. Amen. So, avail yourself the opportunity. It's a calling that we have and we will continue to do it. And as we are doing it, God will be moving all of us forward in Jesus' name. Can we be